Hello there, Taurus, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there. And of course, Taurus, we're going to be finding out all that we can when it comes to your current situation for Taurus and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, what's going on here? Set your intentions out there. Now, some of you... You may have already been putting your desires, your intention. Maybe something has been challenging you and you've been doing all that you can to stay focused, continue to do that. I do feel a sense of some type of divine connection and union you're meant to come into. Uh, how, how it shows up you know, is gonna be different for each and every one of you, but there's a big change on the horizon here. Uh, something is incubating, so you might as well put your good and positive intentions. All of your energy needs to go towards the positive right now. Um, I feel that a lot of you may feel that you've um, you, you hit a place in your life where we do have uh, room to maybe create a new reality, maybe something didn't work out, maybe something shifted for you, but you do have a very powerful internal compass. I mean, look at this owl. You know what I'm sensing, um, Taurus, is this energy of high priestess, actually. So for a lot of you, you're being asked to really trust those inner visions, your gut feelings about things, allowing maybe a season or a cycle in one's life to complete itself or to start anew here. Because some of you, you're... You're in between worlds, you're in a transformation. Some of you, you already have done the transformation and now we're at this new clearing here, okay? Where all is possible. So trust your inner compass when it comes to putting out new intentions, desires, wishes, uh, new goals, okay? Let's, let's see what else you need to know when it comes to your situation for Taurus. Love and accept yourself. You're doing all that you can right now to take care of yourself. Your focus really needs to be you. Your priority needs to be you. You need to be loving and accepting of oneself. I feel a lot of you are doing that. Some of you, maybe it's a challenge, but continue to see yourself in the eyes of God. See yourself as beautiful and as divine as you possibly can because a lot of you need to hear this. You're you're coming into divine partnerships and connections in your life, okay? So this is a time that if you haven't been uh, pampering oneself in a healthy and good way, well, you need to do that, <laughs> okay? Um, I feel there's something about you uh, being noticed. Uh, there could be definitely love in the air here, having some secret admirers. Oh, yeah, I do. Yes, some secret admirers you, you do have. Okay. Oh my goodness. I feel a lot of you, you actually, your, your energy Taurus is very intense and alluring here. Okay. So there is something very mystical and magical about you. Some of you, you could find yourself being more in the spotlight. So however that shows up for you, it just could be, you know, being noticed more on public or online or, you know, however it is, but just be accepting of it. I feel that you deserve to be in the spotlight. Okay. You, you, you deserve to um, feel like a victory and feel like a winner, okay? <laughs> so love and accept yourself. And as you do love and accept yourself, you know, this is going to really make you more focused on your internal compass, which I feel is super important right now because you've got to. You've got to trust your own self during a time period where we're um, starting anew here in a new uh, area in our life or a new place. Something is unfamiliar in some aspect of your life and you're being asked to trust your own inner compass because that's what's going to guide you, okay? Now, let's continue and see what else does a Taurus need to know. Oh, don't hate, meditate. Ah, something could distract you. Now, some of you Taurus, if, if you're not feeling a little uh, pissed off or <laughs> angry at a situation or triggered you need to watch out okay because your internal compass will it's almost like you guys know and sense things um before they happen especially when it comes to avoiding a disaster or vo avoiding something or someone that could trigger you i feel like you know 
with this don't hate meditate, I kind of get like strength card coming through only in, only because I feel that it is taking a lot of strength for you to hold back <laughs> oh, from like biting their heads off. Oh my goodness, I can know. Anyhow, don't hate meditate. Thank you angels for guiding me uh, to love through meditation. So love is going to be the answer right now. You know, if, if you've got haters, then no, <laughs> listen, Taurus, just take it if it resonates. It won't for all of you. But if you feel that you've got haters and you're doing something good and right in life, okay, your people don't like that you are becoming wise, that you're becoming more beautiful, that you're becoming more spiritually enlightened, that you're becoming more successful, even through the face of trials and tribulations, you, you, you seem to always have this like a powerful force that seems to navigate you, favor you no matter what, okay? Yeah, you are walking through no, new doors. I do feel that there there are people that just are, uh, you know, if it's one or two people or more, I don't know, but I feel that they get really attached to your energy. Um, so you need to be careful. I don't know why I'm getting something about like, um, you know, I'm getting like page of swords actually in the sense of maybe there's some talk about you or people prying eyes or people that want to pry their eyes into your business. Okay. And they, they don't need any, to, they don't need to be in that. Okay. So you may need to stay and remain vigilant as you are continuing to make yourself feel good, feel beautiful, feel handsome, feel, um, you know, hopeful. Okay. So we're, uh, combating hate <laughs> and whatever else we got to do with love just attack it with love okay um, and just you know trust that you are meant to walk in some new doors here and um, you know if, if others are meant to catch up with you in this lifetime then they will but don't don't be bothered if you feel that you're moving on from um, you know difficult situations or situations that you you just know you know don't fit you anymore okay so let's see <laughs> What else for a Taurus? And also for some of you Taurus, this don't hate meditate also could be the fact that, you know, you've got this beautiful energy that, you know, is of light and love. It doesn't mean we don't get angry. We don't do things or, you know, but it does mean that, you know, sometimes it is hard to be around situations and people where you just feel like uh, their brain hasn't evolved enough and their spirit hasn't evolved enough to really see a higher perspective of things. And it's not your, you know, it's not your job to, you know, carry on their burdens or make them see the light, you know, because in fact, your light will trigger others. So you're just going to have to get used to that, Taurus, okay, as you continue with your life path here. Um, and it, it doesn't mean that you're going to continue being on a path where you have to be triggered by others. That's not what it means. It means that you get into a place that uh, you know how to handle stuff, okay? And yes, you do have an inner compass that's already telling you guys who and what to stay away from. You need to trust that. If you get red flags about something or someone, don't ignore it. What else for Taurus? Submerge iceberg. See, there's more going on. It's just like this iceberg. It, it looks all gigantic and big up above, but I wonder how big is it down below? So we may be having to hmm, look beneath the surface by, you know, tapping in and tuning into what's not being seen. Okay. So we got to pay attention to, you know, your other sensories here to give you more information about what's going on okay because i do feel and it's not to scare you but there is something or someone challenging on the horizon or right now that you that that, that the best way for you to navigate yourself is to if you can ignore it completely um, or just battle them with a lot of love by giving yourself love uh, justice will handle itself here okay you got to trust in the uh, universal cosmic balancing of things so just you know, tread thoughtfully, take care of your mind, your heart, and your spirit. Trust your own inner compass, especially you're going to need it, right? So we can navigate ourselves um, through maybe some uh, interesting waters here because we've got like icebergs and all kinds of things that are submerging here. But, you know, the other thing is, is I was picking up High Priestess, okay? And so High Priestess has this ability to tap into the unseen here and she can, she can, uh, 
visualize and see what's going on beneath the surface here. So this is kind of your advantage here. So some of you, you may need to not move too hastily or quickly here. You may need to take your time and patience um, and be in a state of observation and awareness so that you can make the best choice for yourself, okay? What else for Taurus? Oh, Taurus, I, you know, we, we were talking about this. I could see it with this love and accept. A lot of you have done a very beautiful transformation, and I hope you do take time to see how far you've come, how beautiful you absolutely are. So some of you, you've transformed maybe those things that you didn't like about yourself, and now you do love yourself, you know, love those things. And that is a healthy and awesome thing because those are things that you discover within yourself that actually is a, a gift. Just hear me out. It's a gift. You're going to have to figure it out on your own, though. Okay, <laughs> but love and accept yourself, honor your beauty, take care of yourself. Don't feel that it's a, it's a selfish thing to do that. Okay, don't hate, meditate, right? Give yourself love, honor your, you know, what can, what can you do? And now maybe some of you, uh, Taurus, you've been doing this, so good for you. You're discovering your inner and your outer beauty. And that's kind of cute too, because I feel that, if you were the iceberg, you know, you're seeing your beauty up above and down below. Hmm, isn't that cool? Okay, let's see, what else for Taurus? Magic stream, start noticing things. I feel that there's a lot of synchronicities at play right now. It's because you are tapping into and being more aware and attuned of the spiritual realm, or let's just say the unseen realm. So start noticing how everything is beautifully, divinely orchestrated in one's life. One can't live without the other, really. That's just how life is. Uh, so just know that you've got this beautiful part in this, you know, this orchestration of life but you're tapping into some type of wish fulfillment i'm getting like nine of cups uh, you know for you taurus so nine of cups is water sign so we got cancer pisces scorpio coming through and nine of cups is speaking about a time of satisfaction a time of fulfillment a time to put your wishes your intentions your desires out there because it is a magical time to get wish fulfillments and to expect the unexpected. So even if you do wish for something, try, you know, your hardest not to get too like detailed on what it should look like, how it needs to show up, you know, just get the feeling. I mean, if you, you know, the best way to put your wishes out there is just to get the, you know, get into that place of how would it feel if it was here now, right? And then feel it and, and really tap into that energy and focus on that. And that is you sending the signal out into the universe of what you're really grateful for. So at some point it has to show up in your reality as long as you stay true and focused, you know, on what's important to you and not, not getting, um, you know, thrown off your inner compass here either. Okay. Cause I do feel that as you are becoming more successful or you're up leveling in life, you will come up through a few periods in your life where you will come up and bump up against something incredibly challenging, but by the time you get there, you can see it for what it is. It's just called, it's just something that, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what you want to call it. If you want to call it like negative forces at play as well, because it's, you know, we always have negative and positive forces, but it's like, when uh, you know when a soul is becoming uh, strong wise and successful there will be other situations and energies that will try to distract or impede pro uh, progress here but um i feel a lot of you are doing something where you're you're really guiding yourself and staying true to yourself as strong as you can mentally emotionally and spiritually and that's what's fighting off a lot of negative energies and forces out of you and away from you and and you're being shielded and protected from god jesus universe okay so trust yourself now you do need to trust yourself though i really want to put this out again for you taurus that you have to listen to those warning signs that you get about certain things and people and don't ignore it maybe don't ignore it this time especially if you felt you have ignored it in the past and you paid for it okay what else for taurus
Now with this magical stream, things will be going your way if they're not. Now the important thing, not all of you, but some of you might get a little stuck because you might not believe in things going in your way all the time. You you know, don't don't get into the attitude of, "Oh my god, everything's going my way. When is it going to falter?" Yeah, you got to you got to stop that. And that's not for all of you. <laughs> Just take that if it resonates though. Oh, well, I'm glad I brought that up because we got this DNA and karma. This is what I'm talking about. You know, sometimes things get passed down to us because we are the karma and the DNA breaker here. <laughs> that seems to be at play uh, big time here. See, this is why you have to trust yourself. You've got the power, the ability to stop patterns, behaviors, situations from forming even that can go back into something that is repetitive. Now remember, just take for example, okay, you can put this with any story, but the example like I was talking about some of you, because I used to do it, <laughs> you know, when things were going my way, I'd be like, oh my gosh, you know, when is it gonna go poopy here, you know? Um, and, and that's a habit, and that's also a pattern, and it's a generational thing as well, okay? So you are breaking some type of DNA karma and I feel like Taurus, you've got this thing just like I feel it was Sagittarius's title that, that you were meant to break something that was meant to break. Like this is the thing, like this is it. <laughs> you too, you, you too were uh, meant to break or was meant to break down on purpose. So now we have this whole new thing that can be created and it's gonna be, um, it's going to be probably a lot more wild and beautiful than you can um, expect because this doesn't this doesn't um, you know this isn't something that's easy either okay so a lot of you you're feeling what you're feeling <laughs> what's triggering you is karma the stuff that you can feel that's karmic you know and so for some of you yes you can you can see things happening to others and you want to save them but then you know it's a waste of time and energy you know don't save people who don't want to be saved what a i mean what a waste of energy but anyhow you need to trust yourself because this is about you focusing on yourself right now and not faltering or falling into i should say patterns or habits or behaviors that really aren't yours anyways okay it was uh something that has to do with the dna karma okay what else for a taurus miracle of prayer thank you sound dolphin for delivering my prayers to heaven mm -hmm. heaven knows heaven knows it's been a little tough for you and challenging okay because you do hold a high vibration and it, it is hard when you're holding a high vibration to be around lower vibration things, people, situations, but you know, understand that no matter what, everything can coexist and you, you can stand strong in your own truth and light no matter what is going on. And you need to stay strong right now too, Taurus, because you're gonna get some type of major blessing and change that is um, definitely needed, wanted, and it's, it's time. You've been asking for this big change or some type of change, and it's exactly what's coming your way. Some of you have been praying and asking for people, circumstances that, you know, fit this new um, consciousness that you hold within yourself, this new energy that you're holding within yourself. And that's exactly what you're getting. But you also have to be very patient. What else? I just told you, you're going to get it. You're going to get those trustworthy friends, companions. I was really getting a big thing about divine connections, divine partnerships. Thank you, angels, for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. You know, sometimes we got, well, I'll just say it. Sometimes you got to think a little bit too here. You know, DNA is not, not as strong as a soul DNA, soul family here, okay? You're never going to be misplaced or denied of your tribe, your lover, your partnership with your higher self, with the divine. You will not be denied because you are a very strong soul, because you have this awareness within you. That's a gift, Taurus, and you're using it by making changes. <laughs> what else for Taurus? Shine your light, baby. See, you're, I see you as just stepping up your game. 
elevating your status, elevating your position, elevating something in your life. Thank you, Uriel, for helping me share my light with the world. <laughs> I feel that a lot of you, you're just, you're being pushed to become even more powerful, a stronger light, okay? And look at all the, the sun and that fire here. It's like, like a real sense of resurrection and rebirth of oneself here. <laughs> what maybe you thought was going to put you down or what maybe others wanted to see you fail at or pin you down is not. It can't. It won't. You're too strong. And you're too loved by God, Jesus, the universe here. What else for Taurus? Express your creativity. Give in to, you know, you could utilize that anger or hate uh, energy towards creativity here, towards your passions I feel that you are opening up or you're meant to focus on opening yourself up to creativity and how that shows up in your life. And look at this. We even have Peaceful Warrior. Thank you, Ariel, for helping me stand my ground with peace. I just, again, feel like that strength card where it's taking a lot of strength, courage, compassion, and understanding, right? To stand in a peaceful stance here, but also not being... <clears throat> Some too submissive because we are vigilant about the things that we really worked hard for, the things that we care about, the things that we value. So you are protecting something that it's like an energy within you here because I feel a lot of you Taurus are, you know, you're like your God gifts, your your God given gifts are like this ability to do things, say things, create things that whether you realize it or not has an impact on others you know that you leave behind your energy i'm getting queen of wands now oh my gosh okay so queen of wands she is giving into she, she's not going to care yeah she is giving into what she absolutely wants to do and she's not going to feel restricted here so you know get wild if you want get wild and creative okay i feel that you need to shake up some of the, some of the energy too what else for taurus reflection i feel this is all about this intention here and honoring yourself loving yourself uh, um you know i feel that there has been something that was imbalanced that had a lot of you questioning your uh, you know self-esteem or your worthiness now worthiness is another strong thing too that i feel a lot of you uh, Tauruses have broke in the D DNA karma. And this is why I feel a lot of you, you're sensing and really guiding yourself to really put yourself uh, first and on the pedestal here because something has shifted here with worthiness as well. If you need to take some time out to reflect, then do that. That's going to also help you guys with your creative abilities, healing, recharging, okay? Also, because I'm, I'm seeing Four of Swords here, and, and, and in the Four of Swords in Tarot, the person is positioned in like that prayer position, you know, and we got that miracle of prayer here. So you're taking time out to, you know, give in to prayer, especially if it's been a while for some of you, okay? Give in to prayer, give in to um, affirmations. Know that you've changed something um quite significantly this isn't a small thing that you changed it's a big thing what else peace and harmony thank you regul for surrounding my life with harmonious light see spirit is really guiding you to to stay strong and peaceful no matter maybe what's going on or what we could be you know challenged by circumstances people you're going to be gift, gifted an opportunity to create a life of peace and harmony. Now, does that mean we don't go through life without challenges? No, but how we approach those challenges, we're a lot more peaceful and harmonious. That's called mastery, baby. And that's really when you start to see, um, you know, the universe take over, especially when if you feel that you've got a big problem or something you can't solve or do, when you have that much strength and faith in the higher forces, my God, that's, you know, that's exactly what happened to Moses. The, the seas parted, right? Spirit will make a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. 
your life is forming into a more harmonious and peaceful time. And look at this and, and where you can be strong and respected with your position, wherever you're at in life, being a peaceful warrior, but don't you dare piss this peaceful warrior off. Just because someone is peaceful, it does not mean that they don't get angry. So um, I feel <laughs> it's kind of like me. I think sometimes people are, um, uh, because I do, I, I, you know, it depends on where you catch me, but I've got mostly a very calm demeanor here and I'm very uh, understanding, very compassionate. I give people the benefit of the doubt but they do mistake that as me being gullible or me being passive. And it only takes one, one, one little like hidden agenda, agenda or one intention or one word. Um, and you, I guarantee you when I'm in this position, yeah, I could be a peaceful warrior, but you, you better not, you better not overstep your boundary <laughs> because I will, throw some fire at your ass that's just how it is and so that's how i see you guys you're a peaceful divine warrior okay and so you're learning how and when to use you know your fire okay when you need to throw fire out you throw fire out when you need to throw that fire into creativity you throw that fire into creativity but the biggest thing is not getting hooked and locked into situations or circumstances where we feel like we're going in a circle and that's exactly what you've stopped. So good for you, be proud of yourself. Take some time, if, it, if you have money and you have the time, buy yourself something that makes you feel or look good. Do it. What else for Taurus? Ghost lands, yeah, I feel you guys really are moving on from something that is, it just, it won't, won't work. This is like the past, maybe even past life. My gosh, yeah, look at that DNA. Ooh. Yeah, we got some. You know, some of you, you could, you know, release something going. For some of you, if you feel that you've got some type of ability in mediumship, and you really don't need to in order to do this, but, you know, don't be afraid to talk to the past ancestors. You know, you gotta remember too, that past an ancestors, whether you've met them or not, if they pass down a karma or DNA is something that was bad, you know, it, it wasn't their fault either. Okay? <laughs> you got to remember every soul, every generation comes with some type of awareness. Now it's just, it's, it's just the soul's path, whether, you know, they choose to see it or not in this lifetime, right? So we could do some type of clearing if you guys feel like you need to do that. Um, something very spiritual and sacred for you that you can release some type of old karma uh, you know, in the past, in past lives, right? And um, you're changing the generations to come. I mean, you already have. So Spirit is saying you, you definitely need to use your internal compass right now because this is kind of where I feel a lot of you might be feeling like or you've left. It was just like very unfamiliar, uh, long time ago feeling, you know, and like what is here? What can we do? What else for Taurus? Harmony, music. Hmm. Connect with music, whether it's healing. Uh, I feel music can connect you with others as well. Uh, and, and you know, the thing about this harmony is, and we were talking about this with this magical stream, start noticing things that just really work well together, you know? It's, it's better to hear maybe a few in instruments than it is just a single one. You know, you know how, the, and, and not to say that, you know, you can't not, like just listening to maybe a guitar or a flute or one, one instrument is not beautiful and pretty, but when you start blending things in, wow, <laughs> you know, it can really make a grand, um, symphony. And that's exactly what spirit and God and Jesus is opening your life to is letting you be and play this grand symphony of your own life. Don't hate meditate here. I know there's only two people here, but I, I get three of cups. I, I get something about you rejoicing or coming into emotionally stable or supportive connections, okay? And, and you deserve that. What else? Dawn, <laughs> new beginnings, yep. Let's see what else. 
We've got this dawn, new beginnings. Oh my goodness, this, these cards. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, this is funny. These cards came out. Okay, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Emperor. This is really good. Yes, you guys are going to be stabilizing something. Whatever you're doing now or what have you been protecting that I feel a lot of you guys, you've already built up to a, a status or you've built up to something here. It's going to be safe and protected and you've got what you need. Also, there is a mystery person for some of you guys. This mystery person, if they show up, they're going to be very mature. They're going to be most likely well off because they want to give. They, they have the money, the means, the time to give, the energy to give. And I do see a lot of you guys elevating your status in employment, in some, whatever you're employed by, okay? Now, if you're not employed, I do see you being in charge <laughs> of something here because you're showing up as the emperor. There's a new commitment to our marriage here as well that's going to work in your favor. So some of you may need to stay focused and disciplined. There could be, for some of you, you might be finding yourself wanting to stay indoors, maybe doing things around the house a little bit more. You could be spending more time with someone or family members, okay? A gift of money is coming to you as well. And also, a lot of you, there's something very creative and maybe even psychic and telepathic that's going on that you're going to be creating here. And I feel that you're going to be noticed for that, okay, in some way. Now... There is a new, there's a new, okay, we've got this new beginnings and we got a lot going. We've got the eight of pentacles, four of wands, six of pentacles, the moon card and emperor. We got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got Pisces. Yeah, we got Aries. Don't fear something either. You guys are more than capable of getting something under control. And there is someone that's coming towards you in some way, shape, or form that will be of some type of support, okay? And again, it's a very mature and strong energy. And a lot of you just need to stand proud too because you're going to be, you're going to, you're elevating, you have elevated, or you will elevate your status. What else for Taurus? Oh my gosh, Taurus. I can just see star energy coming through here. A little manifesting miracles. Thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. I was saying you're in between worlds here, right? We're leaving the ghost lands. And look, we've got color in this one. <laughs> Finally. You're being helped by your star ancestors and sister, you know, star ancestors above. This is why I'm saying, you know, uh, physical DNA is nothing compared to your soul DNA. What else for Taurus? Transformation. Oh, and this one. I feel like I need to look at this too. Get outside, miracle of nature. Thank you, angels, for helping me reconnect through nature and fresh air. I feel there may be just need a change of scenery some way, shape, or form. So make sure you are taking those breaks because you are going through a beautiful transformation and you will be crowned. I feel that a lot of you, you, you know, you, you've already been marked and crowned with success before you were even born. And your angels, God, Jesus, your higher self is thanking you and proud of you. Count your blessings. Look at that gratitude. Again, this is really connecting to that nine of cups that I was getting, a wish fulfillment card. Something is going to trans, something that you are going to receive. And I know you're already doing this anyways, but something you're going to receive is just going to solidify your transformation. Count your blessings. Keep counting them. This is you staying disciplined and focus on that. Now, there's a side message. Take it if it resonates. It won't for all of you. But there may be something where some of you might be working towards um, an ideal home life or property purchase. Okay, And I do see a lot of you maintaining or becoming maybe homeowners or something like that or having the whatever ideal home life is for you. Okay, Because not everybody wants a home. <laughs> some people want an apartment. Some people want an RV. Some people want to be roommates. Okay. Uh, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever makes you happy, then do that. What else?
The other thing that I'm getting to, take it if it resonates, at your, in your home life, in your environment, try to maintain a sense of balance though, even with your spending and shopping. You know, for right now, I just feel, you know, if you can, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but you know, you might be needing to do something where we're balancing a little bit more time, energy, space in the home life, okay? So uh, like when I was talking about spending money, you know, do you really have to spend that money on that, on something around the house or can it wait, you know, for the time being? Because you do have this moon card. So we, we do want to just be careful of things right now until things start to come to light. Synergy, my, okay, wow. Somehow I gotta think of a title that has synergy because this is really, this is actually this whole, the whole reading is about synergy for you. You know, this whole thing I was talking about, the, the orchestration, how everything works just well with one another. And if we start really diving into that, man, you start really noticing uh, miracles and magic in life that seem so mundane and ordinary. It just becomes extraordinary. You're stepping into, and if not, synergy. Pay attention to your energy. I mean, we got the Six of Pentacles right here, okay? It's right in the middle, actually. So Six of Pentacles is also an energy of synergy here. What you're giving, you know, you're, you're, you're giving and you're receiving. And the good thing about this is it is Pentacles. It's Earth energy. So whether it shows up in food, resources, money, uh, whatever it is, it's going to provide you as well as you are going to provide, you know, for others or whatever you've got going on in a good and healthy way here. So, you know, you're not meant to feel alone or isolated. Um, there's going to be a time period if you're not in it where you're going to really find like that flow here. Okay. And it's, and hopefully you don't haven't felt like you didn't belong, but if you did, then you're going to be feeling <laughs> right at home here. Okay. And we're speaking of home, Four of Wands is home here. Now I can't show, well, I'm gonna have to cover some nudity here with some stickers. Okay, uh, what else for Taurus? Making a choice. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys, it's the home card. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Making a choice what feels like home to you because remember you're gonna have to you're gonna have to harness and really tune in and tap in and really trust your inner compass i want more with making a choice for taurus give us more with making a choice for taurus Maybe some of you guys are making a choice about a home. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's okay, though. Well, am I sorry? No, you guys are going to be celebrating. I get world card here. So. Taurus, I feel that you, again, just need to listen to your inner compass. What feels like home and what feels right to you? Because I'm seeing also a situation where... No matter what choice you make, as long as you don't feel like, um, as long as you don't procrastinate when choices are available, you know, I'm seeing you coming into celebration. I was getting this thing of like three of cups, where three of cups, you know, you can see they're partying and having fun, but she's by herself. So, you know, there there is a time of rejoicing here, dancing, celebration. Now, I feel that some of you guys are being asked to give in to, if, if you are bumping up some against like two possibilities, two roads, whatever is going on, I feel that Spirit is saying, take a little time out too, celebrate where you've come and allow yourself um, some breathing room, okay? And then come back to it and, you, and you'll be surprised at what door will light up for you, okay? But we do have that dance and we have that celebration. So I feel like, Spirit is letting you know that whatever choice that you do make, it's going to be the right one, okay? Because you're tuning into your inner compass. And not only that, but you know, your intentions for the future here, which will help you make decisions that are best for you. What else?
vision quest. So yeah, we we're, we might be filling in a place where things are really dry and desolate here. But this is where we have profound visions, profound blessings, okay? If you felt like you hit rock bottom, you're only going up from here. And a lot of you, you are in this place of like some type of vision quest. You're forming something in the unseen to the seen here. So trust your abilities to do so. Just don't get distracted by something. And I feel for a lot of you, it could be some type of past energy or, or there could be something that's going to play out, you know, that you, I feel that you're going to pick up on as like some type of, you know, mm, old story that you're, you've already done and you don't want to go into that story again. So here we are manifesting miracles, a clean slate. And this is the place you want to be because anything is possible. So some of you, you, you really are getting very strong visions or you will. What else for Taurus? Gentle gardener, take time with things right now. We're not moving too fast, okay? And also, we're tending to like your field of dreams here. So be, you know, be very conscious of your thoughts. If you have thoughts that make you feel bad, that don't honor yourself or honor your beauty, be aware of it and recycle it, throw it away. Go on a thought, thought detox diet if you need to, because what you think and how you feel really does matter right now. These eggs are being protected <laughs> and these are your dreams. These are your future possessions. So how we tend to this is taking care of ourself because we don't want something to destroy this. This is why I was getting this thing about you being vigilant, wherever that was. Yeah, being vigilant here. And I feel a lot of you, you already know or you're coming into like future projects, uh, more money, more whatever, and you know that you have to stay vigilant. What else? Yeah, you're about to have a breakthrough here. Look at that shaman. Mm -hmm. And focus, yeah. You may be guided to work with crystals if you haven't. Uh, you know, look at the word lake there and you can see there's like lake or water there. So, you know, a lot of you, you got that ancient healing wisdom and this breach. So there's a powerful healing and shift that's happening here because you do hold sacred ancient healing wisdom. You're accessing this. You may be guided or want to work with crystals, maybe amethyst in particular. It you know it is associated with the crown chakra. So a lot of you, your crown chakra is um, you know very wide open. I feel to the spiritual realm. So you know take care of yourself. Look at your spirit spiritual ancestors over here. <laughs> They're connecting with you. Okay. So do what you can. Get creative if you need to on how to focus. Okay. You have, you have the ability to access powerful ancient healing wisdom and energies here. And speaking of ancient, I mean, look at the whale. I mean, whales are ancient. Ancient. What else? Wow, this came out a little funny. This came out a little like a struggle. It's hard right now, I feel, for you guys to go with the ebb and flow. It's, it's actually something's really hard for you guys to kind of go with it. I, I get it. But this is exactly what spirit is showing you. You're just going through, just, just hear me out. You're just, just detach from, you know, getting too emotionally uh, uh, dragged into this. You're going just through the ebbs and flow of your emotions of, of life. Okay. Once again, it will calm down, right? The most important thing though, is that you just go with it. If you, you know, even if you do feel a little bad, just feel, you know, get just, okay, there it is. I'm feeling bad, but that's okay. You know, you kind of just switch those things and uh, stay focused here um, and just go with it. I mean, the ocean is so big and vast. You don't know where you're going to end up, but God knows where you're going to end up and you're going to end up right where you need to. What else? The fog. Oh, good. 
something will be clearing your way here. I mean, we even have this breach. Some type of breakthrough is at hand. You know, go through the ebbs and flows of these changes. Something is clearing the way. You're activating powerful forces and change. Oops. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So Taurus, let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. What does Taurus have to look, whoops. What does Taurus have to look forward to in the near future? Healthy choices, this is so awesome. Because I was, we were, you know, there was a lot about you putting yourself on a pedestal, focusing on yourself, making healthy, wise choices, because there's a lot of intention and power that's being bestowed on you, okay? And we're creating our future here. And also, you're lining up to healthy choices that support you and honor you. So we got a, a lot of good things that are coming towards you in the near future is healthy choices, healthy living. And remember, we had this thing about making a choice. So make the choice. Now, if it right now, I get, you know, the thing that you could do is if you do feel a little confused about a choice, is it a healthy choice or not? That There you go. <laughs> go with the one that's healthy. OK, uh, let's see. Or more balanced. Let's find out how spirit is currently helping you, Taurus. How is spirit helping Taurus? Mm -hmm. Blessings. <laughs> yep. You're getting blessings with these like tarot cards over here. I mean, rainbow blessings. Blessings will be showering in your life. I'm seeing health, healing, vitality. So it's more than just one blessing, right? It's a synergy of blessings. So pay attention. You're not, you're, you know, if some of you have been feeling like you've been ignored from the universe, you haven't. The universe, God has been waiting for the right moment, the perfect time. The alignment is already happening. You've stepped into a new beginning. Now just continue, okay? Because you're going to see how everything was lined up on purpose for you to shine your light brightly because you can't shine it in this ghost land area anyways. I hope that was helpful. Love and light.